So thank you, Nina, for joining. So my name is Emma. I'm a careers advisor here at Skills Jersey. Um, and I've brought you on board <laughs> for this conversation um, because we're just trying to get more kind of content out there for, about HE and just talking to Jersey students who are actually living it themselves and are at university um, and just hearing more about your experiences and um, getting that out there to people who might be thinking about university themselves yeah so do you want to just introduce yourself and what you're studying and where you're at at the minute yeah so I'm Nina and I'm studying psychology I'm in my last year of university at the University of Sussex brilliant and so let's kind of wind it back a bit like when, when did you start thinking about university as an option for you or something that you wanted to do um I started thinking about well I thought about it for a really long time I knew that I wanted to go to university but I think it became a reality for me once I finished my GCSEs and I had to think about what I was going to do next at um whether I was going to do A levels or go to college um and I thought for me that really impacted my decision on what I was going to do because I knew I wanted to go to university and I thought okay if I was to do A levels because I don't know what I want to do doing A levels for me was going to be more broad it's, it would hopefully keep some doors open for me um because you know I mean I did three A levels so that gave me an option if I wanted to do you know I did I did art English uh literature and language and psychology um and yeah from those I was like oh I really like psychology and then I went on to uni so yeah I would definitely recommend um if you're not sure what you want to do um probably do a levels because it gives you a little bit more scope and um broadens your options really yeah yeah, yeah absolutely so when so when you kind of knew that like uni you know that you wanted to go to uni but you weren't quite sure what it was at that point um do you feel like you had support around you did, did people react to your decision around that differently or did what did people say um i mean a lot of my friends um, went to uni, who I went to school with um, in my sixth form. Um, I mean, because I already knew, knew that I wanted to go to uni, it didn't really impact my decision. Um, but I definitely do think that um, in some cases, some people ended up going because everyone around them did. And it's that's not the case. You know, you shouldn't do that if you think, oh, because everyone else is doing it, I should do it. Um, I think it's definitely something that you really need to research. Um, but yeah, I mean, I had also, I had support from my teachers as well. Um, they really helped me of doing my personal statement, um, things like that, more like the nitty gritty of the application stage, um, which I really appreciate. And they really helped me to like, you know, be where I am now at Sussex Uni. Um, but I just, I feel like, there wasn't a lot of um, support in terms of more long term aspects of uni, such as um, money management or um, even, you know, um, cost of living in that area or even whether it's a city uni or a campus uni and whether that area is right for you, because that's also a really important factor to think about. And I think a lot of people actually didn't, even myself, I don't think I didn't do enough research on the area. Um, and I had to learn that the hard way. So I would definitely recommend to um, students looking to go to university is to do more research um, on those long term aspects, because you will thank yourself one, two, three years down the line that you, that you did do that, because it's not just about the course and the academic side. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely research into that. Yeah, absolutely. And is that, so that alongside that, is there anything else you would say, you know, that kind of decision-making stage, which for some people is a bit earlier, some people make that decision quite late about university, you know, is there any other advice you might give to someone who may be at that point now or something you might have done differently, apart from the, you were saying about looking at things like cost of living and money management? Um, yeah, I mean, I would say that, um, I don't think I asked enough questions um, because I thought it would be silly or I would look silly and I feel like that's such a common problem that 
student students have is that they're afraid to ask these questions but really so many people are, are thinking the same thing and it sounds really cheesy but yeah I mean even even things like oh um I don't know what do you do on your 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 day-to-day -day living at uni like where do you go for food shopping you know stuff like that um because you don't know these things and um you know you're gonna have to do it so just I think reaching out to students already at, at university like myself is so helpful because these are things that your teachers aren't going to necessarily tell you or you know if they haven't gone to that uni they're not going to be able to help you with that mm -hmm. um, I mean I regret not um, having as many um, students who were, who were already at uni to talk to I mean I did reach out to someone on Instagram and she was so helpful and lovely and it, it really did make a difference because I'd ask her about things like where what accommodation did you choose and which accommodation would you recommend for you know which ones are social because you know you need to factor in things like that and mm. um, you know whether you want to be in a social area or um, you know even how much rent is in that in that area because in second or third year you might want to look into um, shared housing so that's something that you're going to have to eventually do so just talking to a wide range of people like students and even and professionals as well because um you know you might think you might talk to someone and be like oh actually I don't know if I want to go into that career or um down that route and maybe that degree isn't for you because you don't want to end up you know one or two years down the line and think actually I don't know why I chose this degree I think just speaking to a wide range of different people getting different perspectives um is going to really narrow down your decision and um, be more specific to what you like and what you want to do um, mm. and so that you don't regret it. Yeah, absolutely. And how did you find that transition from A-level to university, like that movement of going from like sixth form to uni? Did you find it a big jump or was it? Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely didn't expect um, how independent I would have to be because I would say I'm I'm already quite an independent person I always have been um but even for me it was such a huge shock um but in a good way I mean I wouldn't be the person that I am today if it wasn't for that and this it uni is such a learning curve not just academically in um other ways you learn so much about yourself about other people you meet so many different people and um yeah i think that's um the main thing is that university is such a community as well as and it's good to utilize that um especially because i think when i came to uni um i forgot about even just important things like my physical health or um eating the right foods and it, it can be so easy to just forget about that um and I, I would definitely recommend just being in a good routine and keeping that up as well. But even if you do feel like you are alone or that you're struggling with that, you, like I say, university is such a big community and you will never be alone. Like there is always someone there that will talk to you, whether that be um, someone at the university, like a teacher or lecturer or, um, mm. or they have, you know, specific services where you can actually speak to people and they're always so lovely and yeah even just people around on on at the uni um is is what I found is that there's such a huge sense of community especially at Sussex and it's such a it's a campus uni so um yeah I feel like there was a lot of community yeah there. that's nice isn't it when you especially when you go there for the first time and it's all new <laughs> um, yeah so has any, did anything, like you're in your last year now, so you've kind of lived through <laughs> three years, has anything surprised you, would you say, about uni? I know you said it was all the kind of, oh, how independent you have to be. Was there anything else that kind of surprised you about what it was like or anything you weren't expecting? Um, I mean, but yeah, I mean, there was a lot of things that I wasn't um, expecting, but I think that's all part of the learning curve and that's how you grow as a person is to actually 
make these mistakes because you're never going to learn if you make silly mistakes or um yeah even just like the workload um and you know you're always especially a level you're you're used to your teachers chasing you if you haven't done something or telling you off if you haven't done this or that but at uni it's such a big jump and um you you are responsible for that you know there's no excuses if you if you're if you hand something in late that's a late and mm -hmm. I mean I learned that the hard way as well I've I've done that <laughs> yeah and you know that's that's fine that's part of the learning process um so yeah um it's a bit of a shift also, yeah in that yeah in that sense um yeah Oh, fab. And obviously, you've already said it's much more than just universities, more than just the kind of course you're doing, this kind of load you can get involved in. Um, what advice would you give to someone about making the most of everything else that's on offer? And you know what else what else there yeah. is? What, what's been your experience with that? Um, yeah, so unfortunately, because I came into uni when it was the peak of coronavirus, it was really difficult in terms of um, making friends and joining societies but I would say um, for all like the new students looking to go to university is definitely make use of those societies because um, I didn't really and I and I wish that I did or had the chance to in first year um, but a, a lot of people I mean you it's not too late to join but um, a lot of people say that that that's a really good way of making friends and even just discovering new hobbies passions mm -hmm. and that's also really important for just keeping up you know your well-being and and physical health it just it has such a good impact on, on every aspect really yeah. I couldn't recommend societies enough you know all of my friends say the same thing so definitely get involved in those um yeah, yeah. Fab. And um, you're studying psychology, which we see is a popular subject, yeah? And when we see it a lot with when we speak to people in year 11 or younger even who kind of want to go down that. Um, how have you kind of found studying it at university level? And do you feel like studying it at A-level prepared you? Or is there loads of new parts to it that you've kind of um, discovered while you've been doing it at, at degree level? Mm. Um. Yeah, I would say I think that psychology is such a, an interesting subject and I love it and I don't regret taking it. Um, and I definitely think that doing it A-level really helped me to discover that um, because I didn't do it at GCSE because my school didn't offer it. Um, and I think that, yeah, doing it A-level really gave me that baseline knowledge and um awareness that I do actually really like it so I would definitely recommend doing it a level or at least doing some sort of um, research or like a, a course on it before you do um, you go into the degree um, because a lot of my friends did it at a level I mean I don't know um, anyone who hasn't done it at a level but needless to say it because it is such a vast and broad area mm -hmm. um you know there's there's going to be things that you don't study at a level and you actually think oh I really do like that so um yeah you don't have to do it a level but I would definitely say to get a good baseline knowledge it, it is important to or just at least do something um and do your own research because it's going to really put you in a good place for when you do it at at degree level yeah bro and then just as a bit of a summary I know you've talked a bit you've already said a few things that you'd advise people to do so what would your kind of top tips be for students here in Jersey who are thinking about university at this point and perhaps feeling a bit unsure or are just kind of looking into it mm. um I would say firstly don't just do it because everyone else is doing it you don't have to take um necessarily the traditional route you don't have to go to university there's so many opportunities in Jersey um, so definitely utilize those and do your research about the course but not just about the course um, you need to research longer as longer term aspects that you're going to thank yourself for further on down the line um, whether that be cost of living 
the area itself, whether it's a city or campus university, etc. Um, and yeah, I would say reach out to professionals within um, the field that you're interested in and um, and students as well and get a broad range of those perspectives um, because it, it's really helpful to get that first hand experience that you're not necessarily going to find online, um, especially if you're looking at the university websites, they might not necessarily have the experiences of students and it's going to be biased probably as well if you're looking at the university website they're not going to say bad things about the mm -hmm. uni mm -hmm. so if you actually speak to students and go okay what are the pros and cons of this uni amazing really couldn't recommend that enough um and yeah make the most of university get yourself out there um and join societies and i would say lastly don't be afraid to ask questions that you might think are silly because they aren't and that's what I thought and I promise they're not yeah no it's really true you think sometimes you think oh I don't want to sound stupid but there's no mm -hmm. such thing no such thing as stupid questions hey mm -hmm. especially around this but thank you so much for your time Nina um 